Okay, as for clippers, I use two different ones. This Oster Turbo A5 has got, which blade is this? It's just called a coarse blade, but it's, I think it's pretty similar to a um, size 4 blade. This is the 3 and 3 quarter on my Andy's 2 speed. This is probably the most useful one that you'll uh, have in your collection. So I really recommend that one for most general summer takedowns. So uh, before you get started, you want to just oil these blades a little bit. I like to work with two clippers because they get hot really fast no matter what you do. So it's good to be able to switch back and forth between the two of them. And there are certain spots that I use uh, each size of blade. So uh, we'll start with the three and three quarter. And um, we'll work just on his neck and chest area. Stand away. I don't like a real short center clip, so I clip down the direction that the hair is growing. Uh, if you clip up against the grain, you'll get a much shorter clip with the same clipper. So it depends on what you're after. I find this is generally going to come out a little, not maybe not quite as even doing it this way, but um, I don't really need for him to be terribly short right now. Very easy. Just keep following it down. You're also going to want to do on this side a channel under his ears here. He doesn't need any of this hair under his ears, so I generally just take all that off. trouble with him staying on the stand and this gets in the way so this tends to get matty and greasy under here anyway so absolutely put that off as short as you can get it. He's got a little bit of matting in here that I had not noticed. We're just going to put it right up. Hopefully. There we go. I think that's all. Okay. You just flip this back to wherever you want his beard to stay intact. If your clippers are heating up or you're just ready to take a break, then you can go back and brush out and a lot of the hairs that are uneven will stand up so you can clip them even with the other. Sully has a beautiful long coat and I love him like that, but it just gets way too hot, especially doing agility and we're getting ready for some competitions coming up. So this is the kindest thing for him, and it will go back. And you can go ahead and clip right on down the legs. I may do that today, or I may end up scissoring. His feet are a little bit wet still because it's raining here, so I'm going to have to wait till later in the day when he's drying to work on his leg. But I'll have to do just a little bit at a time. So. Okay, here again, now we're going down his back. I'm just following the direction that his hair grows naturally. 